Hey everybody, welcome back. Week one of Rehabilitate 365 is in the books and here is the recap. So day one was Monday. Monday was rough. Uh, not because I was doing some kind of super physical stuff, not because I was learning some kind of sick skate move, but because I did a weigh-in and body pictures. But I did it and I did it without crying. And that alone was worth the 365 days. What I did Monday to make myself a better skater was that I stretched. Uh, from the video, you can see it doesn't really look that intense, but trust me, for me, it is intense. I've got to get the, the stretch and the bounce back into all my tendons and ligaments and muscles and all that kind of good stuff. Tuesday. Tuesday I did some night skating and just skated around a little bit, no skills practice or anything like that, just skating, just getting my legs moving, getting the um, muscle memory, you know, for roller skating. On Wednesday I hit the gym, I did some cardio and again some stretching. Um, I do cardio at the gym because I am not good enough at skating to get my heart rate up on skates. Also uh, I don't feel like I can safely skate to fatigue. Uh, the machine I was using is one of those side-to-side -side ellipticals, which is my favorite machine. The lateral movement, uh, it doesn't mimic walking, so it doesn't hurt on days when walking hurts. It's kind of a different movement, so it's not hurting the same way as walking. And it's easier on my knees and things like that. So this machine, this machine is the one I really like. Thursday, I was in the skate park doing some more night skating. This time I took it pretty seriously. I was trying to really get a workout. Um, I worked on picking up my feet as I make curves, trying to get to that crossover stage. My legs are not strong enough to do crossovers yet, uh, but we're getting there. But I worked on picking up my feet both ways, um, turning both ways, just trying to get up the leg strength and the coordination for those kinds of moves. Friday I was skating again, went out to a parking lot and got busy doing some footwork exercising, some marching, some side-to-side -side steps, some rolling back and forth, all of which you need if you want to be able to do those moves that you see on all those cool roller skating videos. So I got busy on that. It was a great leg workout, got the quads and the hammies and the calves and the glutes and all of that leg stuff. Saturday, I did a standardized fitness test from rollerderbyathletics.com. I found them through YouTube one day in my suggested videos and I clicked on it and I thought wow what a great idea standardized test for all derby um, the video was a few years old um, their concept was that people could do the test and then upload their scores onto their website the website is still active they still um, have services they do fitness training for derby teams but the the test itself, it looks like nobody's posted their scores in a long time. But it is about the only thing I found available online that serves as a standardized fitness test for any kind of roller skating. If you want to check it out, you can check the links and uh, you can also try the fitness test and see how you compare to at least the scores from a few years ago. So I have never played derby, but I do love it. If you've never seen it, definitely Google it in your area and check it out. They are, they're fun. If you like athletics, roller skating, makeup, anything, <laughs> you probably find something to like at Roller Derby. So definitely check out your local ro Roller Derby. I modified the fitness test. Um, instead of doing three rounds, as they describe for the fitness exercises, I only did one round. I'm going to do this test every month. Um, along with my weigh-ins. So weigh-ins and the fitness test we'll do once a month and we'll see how my scores compare and hopefully I'll get derby fit. Sunday we made it a whole week of rehabilitation in the books and I am super excited. It's been tough filming this, it's been tough doing this, but I'm super glad I did it. Um, even right this minute there's two people walking by and this is the first time anyone's seen me filming and I'm super embarrassed. I think this may be worse than showing off my body in the, um, in the um, tight clothes, but I'm doing it. I'm going to do a little free skate because I'm sore today. So see you guys tomorrow.
fucking lie. In two weeks, I will upload week two and three. And then in another two weeks, I will upload week four. After that, I'll be able to get on a regular schedule. I'll have update videos every two weeks, weigh-ins and fitness tests every month. In the weeks that I don't post updates, I will post other skate-related funness. Like, comment, share, subscribe, so that way I know that you're enjoying what you're seeing and um, I can keep bringing it. See you guys next Friday.